all the numbers found on the number line is known as real numbers, including zero. Let's consider this question. We're going to find the limit of this function as x tends to 9. Step number 1. Apply direct substitution. That is, plug in. That is, wherever I see x, I'm going to put 9. And you see, we have 0 over 0. If you try to choose this, then you fail it. Next, apply low orbital rule. And here, we got two options. Either to use difference of two squares or we differentiate each variable separately. By difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared will give you a minus b in bracket a plus b in bracket. Before we continue with step 2, let's recap. In mathematics, these two are the same. Likewise, square root of x is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 2. That is, the square root of 4 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to 2. Likewise, the square root of 25 is the same thing as 25 to the power of 1 over 2, which is equal to 5. With this in mind, I can rewrite this to mean the same thing as this. Hence, these two can take away these two, which is like writing 2 divided by 2 at the powers. And you now have x to the power of 1, which is the same as x. You see, both sides are the same. Hence, I can modify x to equally look like this, because both are the same. We are going to use this concept to modify step number 2. In this function, I will not touch the x with the square root. I'm going to modify the x without the square root. I'm going to make the x at the numerator to equally have a square root. You can see both of them now look alike. However, if I leave it like this, that means I have modified the exam question. However, if I put a bracket and now include, that means I have done nothing to this x because the squared will cancel out the square root and only the x will still remain. Next, I will take the limit as x tends to 9. In order to represent this function as difference of two squares, I will modify this 9 to become 3 squared, which is the same thing as 9. Next, represented as difference of 2 squares, this can now take away this. Next, take the limit of the remaining function as x tends to 9. Substituting for 9, our answer is 6. We can resolve step number 2 by using differentiation. This time around, we are going to differentiate each variable separately. Before we differentiate, let's remodify the function at the denominator. Differentiate x and you have 1. Next, differentiate 9 going to get 0. Next, differentiate x to the power of 1 over 2 and you are going to get 1 over 2 x to the power of minus 1 over 2. Next, differentiate 3 and you are going to have 0. Next, take the limit as x tends to 9. 
applying law of indices and changing the division to multiplication sign and solving carefully your answer is 6 which is same as we got earlier and from the options our answer is C you can check out for other videos in pre-calculus and to locate all these videos you can follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video